Hi, all my enrichment friends. Oh my goodness, we've been very busy this year. And although we haven't spent the last three months together, we're always thinking of you and hope everyone is doing well. We only have a couple of more weeks of school. We're getting ready for summer. And summer reminds me of the beach and the ocean and everything that we see when we go to the beach. And by now, you know that our letter was from a hermit crab. And you've probably listened to Mrs. Only read the story about a house for hermit crab. So I thought it would be fun to make a project of a hermit crab and things that the hermit crab spotted on the ocean floor and made part of his home. So let's talk a little bit about a hermit crab. A hermit crab is of course a crab and it lives on the ocean floor. And although its body is soft, it's, it's hard, its tummy is very soft. So it always has to find a shell to live in. And it snuggles into the shell and the only thing sticking out is its head and its feet and its claws. So it can see, it can walk, and it can catch food. And every other part of the body is in the shell. But as the hermit crab grows, he needs to, he or she needs to borrow another shell. So it climbs out of its shell and goes into a new, bigger shell. Just like you guys are getting bigger and you've been in the four-year-old classes with Mrs. Wepler or Mrs. Meyer or me, and now you've grown and it's time to go into a new class, whether you're going into the early fives or you're going to kindergarten. You've learned, you've made new friends, you've grown, and it's time to move on. So it's time for change. And although we will always miss you, change is good. So um, what you will need for this project is a paper plate, paints, I have some watercolors, some water to paint your watercolors on your plate. And what I did is I've already colored a plate and then I've cut it into the shape of a shell. So I just started on the outside and I kept doing circular cuts. You can cut it or you don't have to cut it. You can leave it whole. So this is going to be your shell of your hermit crab. Then what I did, I traced my hand and that is going to be your hermit crab. And I cut out my hand. So what you're going to do is you're going to trace your hand on any color paper and then cut it out. So that's good practice for tracing and cutting. So I'm going to start and I'm going to glue my shell onto my paper. And that, as I said, is going to be the shell. Then I'm going to take my cut out hand and I'm going to glue that onto the paper as well. So you're gluing on your shell and you're gluing on your hand. And then what I did is I cut out two little antenna. You can do just two strips of paper and I'm going to glue them on my paper as well. And then I took my marker and I did two little eyes so our hermit crab can see where it is going. So the start of your project is going to be 
your shell, which is your plate, your hand cut out, and your two little antenna. So from there, we're going to add onto the shell what the hermit crab met on his walk in the ocean. So every month, the hermit crab added something else. So in January, he decided, oh, I think I made a little, in January, he decided it was time to move. In February, he found a big shell. In March, he came upon a sea anemone and said, will you join me? You look so beautiful. Come on to my shell. In April, oh, he spied a starfish and he put that starfish on his shell because it made his home so beautiful. In May, he spotted some coral. In June, oh, he came upon a snail and said to that snail, will you help me clean my house? And the snail said, certainly. In July, he came upon a sea urchin and he said, will you come and help me protect my house? And the sea urchin said, oh, of course. In August, he went into the dark, dark seaweed and it was so dark that he needed something to help him see something with light. So he came upon some lantern fish and the lantern fish lit the way. And then in October, he came on some, upon some smooth pebbles and he made a nice wall around his house. But oh goodness me, what happened in November? All these months our little hermit crab was getting so big that in November, he'd said, oh no, I need time for a new house, a new home, a new shell. And then a small little hermit crab said, I'll take your shell. So our home hermit crab moved out and a little hermit crab moved in. And then back in January, he started looking for a new home again. So what I am sending you that you can print out is all the things that we talked about in the book. Our shell, our sea anemone, our coral, and it tells you what color to color your different, uh, your different things that you come upon. And after you've colored them, for instance, color the rock gray, after you've colored them, you can cut them out. So I have cut mine out. And then you can glue all your little pieces on to your paper. So he put the rock outside his shell and the seaweed was outside the shell. It was very dark, but the other things he glued onto his shell. So once you have them all cut out, you can glue them onto your paper. All right, one other thing, let's just go over, because I just like to sing this song, is our months of the year song. All right, so we start off with January. January, February, March, and April. May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, and December. These are the months of the year. So with this nice activity, you'll be practicing your cutting. You'll be practicing your months of the year. You'll be practicing your sequencing. You'll be cutting and coloring and having fun. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.